Francis, the man of God, left his home behind, abandoned his inheritance, and became poor and penniless. But the Lord raised him up. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. So Francis taught his monks the importance of both work and prayer. As whenever they went on retreat, they went two by two. While one uh, retreat was praying, the other one would serve his needs. And then they would switch after a month's time. And the one that had been working would pray. Well, the one who had been praying would work. It's called the minor sins. The times we have not helped our brother and sister to work and to pray all for the glory of God. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you listen to our prayers. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, grant that by walking in Francis' footsteps, we may follow your Son and through joyful charity come to be united with him. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, you heard of my former way of life. How I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race, since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when he, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me, so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went to Arabia and then returned to Damascus. And then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remain with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles only James, the brother of the Lord. As to what I am writing to you, behold, before God, I am not only. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Sicilia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only kept hearing that the one who once was persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. Amen. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest, you scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. Give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. My soul, as you knew full well, 
nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I knew you along the everlasting way. instead of her sister Martha? What if Mary had complained instead of Martha? Martha is by tradition the older sister in the Martha, Lazarus, and Mary household. And it's often the case that the older sibling is more vocal. But what if Mary had been the vocal one and not Martha? Catholic 
church is always reminding us that the third commandment comes before the fourth commandment. And that seems like a no-brainer, but how many people don't know that? That we are to worship God on Sunday without fail. Doesn't matter if the crops have to come in. Doesn't matter if an order has to go out. Sunday comes around, we worship God. And then God gives us grace. And the sacrament of the breaking of the bread, to have the strength to love and to pray for our family, to love and to serve our families by our God the Father is keeping meticulous records of who worships his son on Sunday. Make no mistake. God knows the silent prayer of the every Sunday Mass Lord. Lord, my brother, my sister, the burden of worshiping you on Sunday. Please accept my feeble prayers for their salvation. May you give them the graces of the spiritual communion I make for them. For I am anxious and worried about their salvation. St. Francis of Assisi. Pray for us. St. Mary. Pray for us. St. Martha. Pray for us. St. Lazarus. Pray for us. St. Mary the Assumption. Pray for us.
pray that all the groceries we pray, especially for the remission of the sins of those who love, that she would take to her son. So we call out, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you here to answer all these prayers, to grant them through Christ our Lord. Let's start you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the law of the Holy Church. As we bring you these offerings, O oh Lord, we pray that we may be rightfully disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis so ardently embraced through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness. Bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. All you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a peace of people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving thanks, 
he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Peter, St. Francis of Assisi, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, the Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, with whom you bestow on the world. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And we'll pray our spiritual communion prayers, especially for those who fret, we fret over their salvation. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since other people dear to me and not now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come at these spirits into their hearts. And though we are already in our hearts, help us to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly to you. Permit not that we should ever be separated from you. No prayer, 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 My Jesus, I love and adore you. You have come to me. I am one with you. I want you to remain with me forever, in this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your divine life. May I become more like you through this sacred food. Let me never take you for granted, 
but I always pray for those whose lives are dark with sin and ignorance and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul, there before the grace of God go I. Each day I can become more like you, O Lord, and each day I can pray for those who've never heard of your presence in the Eucharist, or who have heard it and rejected it. Amen. Let us pray. Rebuke him, we hope.